Claris FileMaker solutions can store and display media inside objects called container fields. And if the media that you're storing are images, video, or audio files, you can even preview those files inside of the container. Just like other types of files that can be stored in container fields, you can insert media into the field by choosing the Insert menu, or even by dragging and dropping or using a script. When you choose an image to store inside your container field, the container field will display the image. And by default, container fields are set to maintain the original proportions of your image in order to avoid any distortion. Also by default, a newly placed container field on a layout is optimized for images, which will display JPEG, PNG, and other image types. Now, if you place a movie inside of a container, you'll see that it displays as a file, showing the name of the file and the extension or the file type. However, if we go into layout mode and we select our container, and if we go in the data tab in your inspector, the very bottom section is called data formatting. And you'll see that you have many different options for displaying media in the fields. In the field formatting option, you'll see by default, it's chosen reduce image to fit, but you can also choose reduce or enlarge image to fit, which will maintain original proportions if you keep this option selected. You can also choose the alignment, keeping things center or top or left or right justified. And in the section for optimize for, you'll see by default, it's chosen to optimize for images. But if we instead change to interactive content and then go back into browse mode, the first thing you'll see is that in your insert menu, you now have additional options. So now if we choose to insert a video, not only can the container field store the video and give you a preview, but it gives your users full playback control, allowing complete interactivity with the stored content. And if you're concerned about very large files making your apps grow way too large in size, well, don't be. Because when you set up your field, you can control the way the media is stored in your apps. And one of those options is to store your data externally. If you select your file, choose options, and then navigate to the storage tab, you'll see on the very bottom, you have a container section. And by selecting store container data externally, you'll see that you have two different options. You can choose from open storage, where anyone with access to the folders will be able to access the files, or choose the recommended secure storage, where the container data will be encrypted as it's stored. With either selection, after you select external storage, FileMaker will create an external directory in the database location, and it will present a dialog while it transfers the files from your containers into this location. And after FileMaker has completed moving those files and then storing the reference to them so that the users can access the containers, they'll still be able to view and work with the files as they normally would. And this is what the folder structure will look like in that external directory that was created in the database location. Now, since the file I was using is located on my desktop, it created this folder on the desktop as well. And when we open the folder, we see that there's a folder called container, because in this case, that's the name of the table that I have in my file. And then within that folder, there's another subfolder called container field. That's the name of the container field in this table. Now, if I have multiple different container fields defined in the same table called container, you'll see multiple subfolders created. And now within each of these, you'll find the files that were previously embedded inside each container field. In this example, I'm showing the folders created in the database location, which of course is on the desktop, but this feature is much more common when your apps are hosted on Claris FileMaker server or the Claris FileMaker cloud. In those cases, these folders will be created in the database directory of the server for multi-user access. And not only can you intelligently store and interact with your media and container fields, but you can even extract metadata from the files themselves. So say, for example, you inserted a picture into this container field. In this case, specifically a picture that was taken on an iOS device. You can create calculations that will extract individual pieces of information like the width and height, or you can pull all of the available container attributes. Calculations can be created that can extract attributes of the file using a calculation function that's called get container attribute. You can even use different calculations to do things like get the width or height of a file that's stored inside of a container field. Or you can optimize images inserted into a container to create a new smaller file. Or you can even verify whether the container data has been changed outside of the FileMaker platform. 
And with all the controls and capabilities available to you, Claris FileMaker containers bring a unique ability to not only store media in your solutions, but to extract valuable metadata about those files, and also to display media, allowing you to preview the files directly within your layouts. And these display and preview options allow you to create powerful asset management applications for your business.